All right, this is uh, grade three, module four, lesson nine. And in this lesson, uh, we begin the process of having our, fifth, our third graders uh, begin understanding the distributive property. And we're going to be using area as the tool for helping students understand the distributive property. And the reason why this is going to be worth it is because by using this, the distributive property, that's going to make it easier for students to memorize or learn their larger multiplication facts. And so we're going to begin by some small rectangles, using small rectangles to understand um, area and that the conservation of area. For example, here, here's what I mean. So let, we've got this rectangle right here, okay? And you can see that this rectangle is um, 5 by 4. And at this point, our students know that that means 5 times 4 equals 20. So we have 20 square units in this rectangle. And we can show the students that this rectangle can be cut into two equal sized rectangles. Now at this point, we're only talking equal sized rectangles. Um, Although with the distributive property, they don't have to be equal. Now here's the cool thing. What we're going to do is we're going to show students, and I need to move that to the back. Okay, let's see. Move. Yikes. Um, how do I do this? We're going to move this to the ungroup, and then we're going to move this part to the back. Arrange, send to the back. Okay, so now what we're going to see is these two rectangles, these equal sized rectangles, um, we can show them that we can rearrange them. And I'm doing my best. Whoa! That's not what I wanted to do. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's my 5 by 4 still. I need to fix that. There's my 5 by 4 and that this rectangle can be rotated. I still need to rotate it some. There we go. And now I've got a new rectangle, don't I? I've got a new rectangle. Now that new rectangle, the old rectangle used to be, and I lost it, so I'm going to put it back in there, 5 by 4, which is 20. But the new rectangle that we have, this longer rectangle, is now 2 by 10. Because here is the 2 by 5, and here is a 2 by 5. And that this 2 by 10 rectangle also has an area of 20 square units. And so what students are going to be understanding is that with these rectangles, you can chop them up, move the pieces around, and the area remains constant. I think we'll have a better understanding once we get into some of the actual problems. Let's do that. So this question says, using the grid, use the grid to answer the questions below. So step A says, draw a line to show how to divide the grid into two equal rectangles. So that's kind of what I just modeled in the previous slide. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to just, oh, boom, right here. There. I just created two rectangles. And they're equal sized rectangles as well. Now it says shade in one of the rectangles. So let me do that now. Good enough. Okay, step B label the side lengths of each rectangle. So let's see. So this first rectangle on the left, the side lengths, let's see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, by one, two, three, four. So that's eight by four. All right. And then uh, step uh C says write an equation to show the total area of the two rectangles. All right. 
So now what that means is we have two rectangles. We have this one, which is 8 by 4, and we have this one, which is also 8 by 4. So a couple of equations that we can write, one equation would be, well, we have 8 by 4. That's this big, huge rectangle here, this half of a half of the whole thing, right? It's the half rectangle here. And we have two of them. So we're going to take that and multiply by 2. So that's one equation that we could write. Another equation that students might write would be 8 times 4 plus another 8 times 4. And the idea would be that this one stands for the left one, and this one stands for the right one. Uh, either equation is correct, either this one or this one, although I think at this point we're probably looking at this one for um, Engage New York, but they both work. Now this question says, Alexa cuts out the two equal rectangles from problem 1a that we just did and puts the two shorter sides together. Draw Alexa's new rectangle and label the side lengths below. Okay, so what that's saying is we're going to start with <clears throat> what we had on that previous slide, which is here's one, and then let's do another one. So there's our our two rectangles, and I want to ungroup that. Ungroup. All right. And I want to take this one, and I want to take this one. And they say, put the two shorter sides together. Well, I could do that without rotating. I could just do that. Stack it up. And there it is. So what used to be, back over here, what used to be, let's see, an 8 by 4 now becomes another, let's see, 8 by 4. And so find the total area of the new longer rectangle. So in this case, it's kind of a taller rectangle because of the way I did it. But we can write the new the area of the new rectangle, which is, let's see, one way we could do it is 8 times 4. That would be this guy plus another 8 times 4. And that would be this guy. And then another one, um, another one we could do is 8 times 4 times 2, because 8 times 4 gives us a rectangle, like this one, and then we multiply by 2, because we have two of them. And so that's Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 9, where we are cutting up rectangles, reasoning about their area, and all of this is kind of like laying the groundwork for what eventually is going to be the distributive property.